Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hey guys, it's been a minute since I last made a video, but once again, it's good to see you. And coming up in the next couple of days is going to be school for some of you. For me personally, in the area that I live, school starts on Thursday, actually. And when I was thinking about that, the fact that I am going to college and not to go into grade school like most of you who watch my videos are, it really had me thinking for a minute, you know? Thinking back to when I started my journey into high school, those last four years of grade school where so many things just go crazy and so many things just go ham and things of that matter. And while I was thinking about that, I was just like wondering to myself, what things that I learned from my high school experience, like what things do I wish that I was told when I was younger, going into that experience, what are some of those things I can share that might help someone? And I discovered, and I, wow, not discovered, I thought about these five things. And before I even get into that, I want to let you know right now, if you're at school watching this video, I'm glad you're watching this video, but please, 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 if you are watching this video and you're supposed to be studying, you're supposed to be doing schoolwork, you know, not at lunch, you're not, you're not at your bus stop or something, and you're actually supposed to be focusing in school, please turn this video off and go focus at school. It can wait, YouTube can wait, and I'm sure that the website will still save this video for you. I'm going to repeat this again. If you are at school, I need you to stop watching this video, focus in school, and then you can watch it, all right? But if that doesn't apply to you and you have the time, then let's get down. Class is in session. Please put your notes away and please prepare to listen to me, the one I'm about to say. Get it? Because class is in session. Class is in session. Boy, if you don't get When I went into high school, I was 14 years old and I looked like this. Yeah, a lot happened in those last four years. I was a different man, a diff different man, not even a man. I wasn't even a man, I was a kid, pretty much. And I was a different person, right? And for me personally, I had come from a place going to high school where I'd always gotten good grades, you know, I was always an A student, always did well. But when I got into high school especially, it became a lot harder to maintain good grades. And that's exactly what I'm going to my first point, you know? This is something that we all know, right? Get good grades. And I'm not like saying this to be your parents and whatnot because at the end of the day, the parents will most likely also tell you this, but I'm telling you this because like it or not, getting good grades is an important part of the high school experience, you know? Getting good grades, you know, focusing in your classes, making sure that you're ready to learn, but whatever your teacher might tell you, even if you don't find it interesting, that is important and something for me that I've learned is that even though so most of the classes you might hear aren't important to you, you should still try to listen because you can still get many things from those classes. It's not necessarily about the educational content itself, it's just more so about what those individual teachers can teach you from the way that they conduct themselves and the way they carry themselves. But if we are going to discuss the educational content, I can tell you that unfortunately, we have a school system where unfortunately you can be exposed to certain things that are admittedly very interesting but because of the way that they're broken down and disseminated them to you it comes off as very uninteresting right i know for me one of those things would definitely be my world history class my u.s history class like those are all very interesting subjects and all very core and key subjects for a human's learning right you need to learn about the history of the world you need to learn from the history of this country so you can learn not to repeat the mistakes of those who came before us you know as the quote says history is doomed to repeat it it's something along the lines of pretty much history is repeated by those who fail to learn from it right like you know that's even a biblical concept as well as King Solomon himself talks about how there is nothing new under the sun in the book of Ecclesiastes. History is important. Something like history, or even like science with the scientific method and how you can apply that to your own life. Math, eh. I mean like problem solving, I guess. Reading literally about how you can speak, how you write, 
But the thing is, these important concepts aren't necessarily taught to you individually in the best way that will help you want to have a desire to learn more. And for me, I understand that. Like I said, I'm speaking from my experiences. I know that those are things that looking back on it were very impactful for me, but I didn't see the benefit of them at the time. And for you going into high school, I would just, or just any school at all, like, you know, middle school, high school, I would just say to, you know, get through it, get by it. Because ultimately, if you're in that position, I know you can, you have many support systems you can use to help you. I'm sure your teachers will help try to help you out. And even if they don't, you can always try to make friends that will help you out, right? So at the end of the day, when it comes to your education, you know, just strive for the best you can, you know, push yourself to get those good grades, you know, because those are very important. However, what I've also learned about education is that getting a good education is good for you. It's a powerful thing, you know, can get you out of some crazy places, but getting that good education really doesn't mean much if you yourself aren't in a good place mentally, emotionally, physically, or spiritually. And that's my second point. You're gonna you're gonna go to school. You need to take care of yourself. You need to. I and I don't care if you don't feel like you need to. I don't care if you're like some super smart, intelligent person who feels like they can take on the world. You need to take care of yourself. You need to get proper sleep. Because if you don't get proper sleep, you're not gonna be able to focus in class. You're gonna probably sleep you know you're probably gonna be super stressed you know you're gonna have like a lot of these things happen to you you need to get proper sleep you need to eat the right foods and i know they don't really talk about this you know it's not great but you do need to make sure that you're eating the right foods for your energy you know you need to make sure that you are consuming the right amounts of water you know the right nutrients for yourself even if you're not someone who's a crazy fitness junkie you do need to do that because that helps you to stay focused in class. It does help you to start your day off right, you know? For me personally, I, I know that I personally started drinking, at least trying to drink at least three balls of water per day when I was like my the end of my junior year, starting my senior year, you know? By doing that, it helped me to, it just helped me to feel better, you know? Because I was going to school, sometimes I'd be super dehydrated. But even just properly hydrating myself throughout the day, that just made a small difference. But it was a huge difference because it just helped me to feel better. And even with the foods that I eat, if I ate better quality foods, you know, at least the best quality foods that your school lunch can give you. Or your parents can help you with. When I was able to go out of my way to do that, I felt better. I felt like I had more energy to take on the day. And I was able to get through the day better, you know. And I know that nowadays, school also tells you to prioritize your mental health as well. And I think another thing is that, and I know that our generation especially is kind of super guilty of this, is we need to not spend too much time on social media sometimes because ultimately, and I'm not knocking social media by the way, I think it's a great tool, but if we spend too much time on social media, especially when we should be doing our homework and whatnot, it can hold us back in certain areas and ultimately you don't want that to happen right you don't want to be held back so you have to learn to take care of yourself by not spending too much time on your social media to know when to doom scroll away or when to really focus on be, focus on what your tasks are because sometimes there are things on social media that can distract you you know put you in a negative mindset not put you in the right state of mind that you need to approach your life with or it can just easily just distract you you know it can keep you off from what you should be doing so ultimately you need to be taking care of yourself you know be taking care of your physical your mental emotional and your spiritual health you know like your tiktoks can wait you know you can start making those small changes just to eat better every day man you know we obviously know that obesity is a huge problem in this country and we know that the crazy stresses of school and how easily accessible food that isn't always good for you is can make it worse right so you need to take care of yourself and for more spiritual side for me personally i understand now that taking care of my health or myself spiritually my spiritual health 
is good for you like and i mean by you know trying to take some time to seek god get to know god more to ask god to help you even on your tests and stuff right for me personally especially going into my sophomore year and my junior year like when i did that it helped me to stay more focused it helped me to stay more stay more i guess ahead of the curve i guess not to say that you know having a relationship with god is some sort of cheat code what i'm saying is that knowing that you can put your worries and your fears on god and you can cast them on him and that he will help you as the word says he asks you to take his yoke upon you and your burden will be light if you do that for me something that helped me a lot was just like casting my burdens upon god you know like my tests and when i was scared i would just pray you know it would help me to feel better and i would just be able to focus on my tests more you know and for me doing that it definitely helped me out a lot and I'm definitely a this habit I'm going to keep going in to my college years and rest of my life even if sometimes I do falter I do want to get back into that even more so now as I grow older because I'm starting to realize how much I need God and even when you're in high school and you're in grade school you do need God whether you realize it or not but that in itself and my point about social media is for another video and yeah I kind of am sweating right now but it's fine Anyways, point number three, and this is probably my favorite point right here. Avoid drama at all costs. Drama in high school is actually insane. It is actually insane how much drama is caused over the smallest things, over the pettiest things. And I am, I normally don't like plea with you guys. But I'm pleading with you, please avoid drama at all costs, all right? I honestly feel like I shouldn't even need to say that because you'd think that we would know that, hey man, drama is not gonna make it any better for you. It's gonna worsen your mental health. You know, it's gonna make you think about things you shouldn't be thinking about. It's gonna distract you from your purpose and all that stuff. But unfortunately, I do need to say that because especially now, drama is so popularized it's so popular to be in drama to have drama with other people but i'm telling you that having drama with other people is not good you know getting involved in the drama that's not good none of that is good it is not good for you in the long term man and i think something that we really need to say you know it's just the age-old concept of if you don't really have anything nice to say about people, don't say it, right? And I'm not like saying that any of you guys would start drama, but like just in general, if you have nothing nice to say about someone who might have done something to you, you don't say it, man. You know, you don't need to start drama. You don't need to have beef. You don't need to cause unnecessary trouble for yourself and your friends. If someone has wronged you and you feel like they have done that to you, you know, you can resolve that in a mature way. You know, you can talk to that person directly. You don't need to cause drama. You don't need to spread rumors about them. You don't need to gossip about them, guys, because gossip is a very toxic thing. It's very dangerous and it can result in people's livelihoods being ruined. So please, please, if you see that you might get involved in drama, take yourself out of it. Move on with your life, you know? You don't need to be in drama. You need to focus on yourself. You need to focus on your education. You need to ultimately focus on your well-being, your relationship with God. You know, you don't have the time. You don't have the time and you shouldn't have the space to deal with drama because drama is not good. And look, you know, if it does happen to you that you can't avoid it, you have to conduct yourself in a mature way when it comes down to it because ultimately high school drama in the grand scheme of things it won't be crazy it won't have crazy implications unless it has something that it unless something in it is a little illegal at the same time you want to make sure that even for your experience those four years especially those four years of high school you want to make sure that you don't have that drama to deal with you don't have that drama to contend with because i know personally for me i have seen that happen to others I know. I have seen myself at the center of drama and I know that it's not worth being in drama, you know? So please take the time to just be kind to one another, you know, to be kind to people, to treat people with respect and to not cause any unnecessary drama, all right? And for my fourth point, it's just 
to make friends in real life. I know nowadays you can make friends in your socials, you know, you got Discord, Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, <clears throat> trash. You can make friends in your socials, right? But you're in high school, you're in middle school, you might even be elementary school if you understand what I'm saying, right? You have people all around you. Even if you do feel alone, there's always going to be a group of people who you can hang out with, who you can talk to, man. I mean, for me personally, I was in my school's band, right? I was a band kid for four years. Um, interesting experience, met a lot of interesting people, but at the same time, I also hold to Christian values and the Christian faith, right? And for me personally, what helped me to make a lot of good friends in high school was for me to join my school's Christian club, right? By doing that, I was able to meet a lot of like-minded individuals who helped me, who challenged me to grow in faith and grow in God. And I was able, even able to strengthen existing friendships from before that club was founded. So I was able to meet a group of people who shared the same faith as me, who might have had different interests, and I was able to learn from them. And I was able to, I guess, bounce ideas off of them, right? And that helped me out a lot, you know? And even if, you know, you're looking for a group of friends to hang out with, maybe try joining a club. Join a club that ha that focuses on things that you're interested in, or get out of your comfort zone and join a club that may not be in something that you're interested in, that may be in something you've never heard about before, you know? There's many clubs at your school, I'm sure, and if you want to make friends, make real lasting friends at high school and maybe for the rest of your life, you gotta put yourself out there, you gotta join a club, you know? Being friends with someone on this is cool, don't get me wrong, but it's not the same and it never will be the same as making meaningful human contact. And I know the concept of meaningful human contact in 2023 post whatever you want to call whatever happened in 2020 because of <clears throat> post all of that meaningful human contact is so much more valuable and i've learned that it's so much more valuable than being on a phone talking to someone from a country that you've probably never been to not not bashing that remember i'm not bashing that right meaningful human contact with people who are around you you might see every day Meaningful human contact is so much more valuable. It speaks to you so much more than it would if you were just hanging out with someone who you, ne you don't know, you don't know their personal lives, you don't know who they are when the screens are on. But if you meet someone, right, in a club, you know, maybe you join a school's band or something, you know, maybe you go put yourself out there at a lunch line, right? That kind of contact is so much more valuable, so much more precious than just being on your screen so please please go out and make some friends you know breathe air if you have to you know but go out make friends and just put yourself out there you know and i mean if you want to know how to make friends i mean i guess i can make a video on that if this gets 10 likes and then my fifth and final tip and this is something that i would have said to me directly no, none of the huge expectations, none of that. This is something that I pers this, if there's anything on this list that I wish I was told going into high school, it would have been this fifth topic right here, guys. All right, and I've made a video on this before, right? Um, it's one of my favorite videos, actually. I'll probably link it in the description or on that little box up there. You should totally go watch it. It's, it's one of my... It's one of my uh, best videos, even though I over edited it, even though I over edited it like crazy. It's one of my best and my favorite videos. But you don't need to date in high school. And I mean, I know you think that would be common sense. But nowadays in our crazy society, it's really not common sense, you know? We see so many people rushing into these romantic relationships at a time when they're young kids and some of them do come out to work but I've seen so many examples of people close to me who've gone into these relationships and it's 
only serve to make their lives and the lives of that person worse. Like I said, for me personally, what I've realized is that, and mind you, I'm not in a relationship, okay? I'm just looking from experience from like what the adults in my life have shown me that being in that kind of relationship is such a huge responsibility that many people in our generation at this age are currently ill-equipped to handle, you know? John Locke once said, the democracy is a two-way street and these relationships, these romantic bonds are two-way streets. And I personally think that most people, 14 to 18, they don't understand that two-way street where it's like now you have to live your life for that other person that other person has to live their life for you people don't understand that at such a young age and it's encouraged because you think that it's nice you see all these videos it's like oh wow look at what i'm doing with my bowl bro it's so cool man it's nice but but those videos don't encapsulate the responsibility <laughs> That's okay if you're not ready. It's really okay. You don't have to feel pressured to do that. Your focus should not be on trying to get a girlfriend or trying to raise up some random girl who only cares about you because you did something goofy and now it's like, oh, look at that guy. <laughs> you should not be focusing on that. You should be focusing on improving yourself, bettering yourself as a person, you know, learning more things to help you grow in your intelligence you know learn learning how to make friends that is what in my mind is so much more important than how good you are with talking to girls man you know girls are humans just like boys are and boys are humans just like girls are we don't need to be seeking after that at this current moment but what we need to be doing is to focus on our growth you know high school is not a time of become it's not a time of i guess stress or at least it shouldn't be it's a time of growing as a person right and i think that too many times that focus on personal self-growth is taken away you know either to focus on trying to become popular focus on being the absolute best student valedictorian literally working yourself into the ground focus on trying to get with a girl like those aren't the most those aren't the most important things you know these four years you know especially four years are to help you grow as a person and i think that if we were all to approach it with that mindset of personal growth then we would be able to grow as a person you know that when you go from 14, you know, you're going into high school and then you're 18 and you already turned the little thing on your little graduation hat or whatever they call it. You understand that between those four years, you grew for the better, you know, you went from being a kid. And now you're on your way to become a man. You know, you grew. Right. And that's what in my mind it is all about. So I would purse. So I would personally say to myself four years ago that not to focus on any of those things but to grow as a person because that is why we are here to grow as a person you know to learn lessons that you can carry with you to the rest of your life to make memories you can carry with you to the rest of your life to enjoy this experience that only ever happens once you know so for me that is what i would say you don't need to focus on girls right now you need to focus on you you need to focus on how much you how much you can learn, how much you can grow. You need to focus on you and you need to focus on God. You need to do that, you know? Those things can wait. Those things are for when you're older. Those things are not for right now, you know? There's just so much bigger things at life that you're living right now. So please, please, don't waste your time. So yeah, I think that's the video. I think it's over. I think I know it's over. Yeah. Uh, thank you all for watching this. And I really hope that this video blesses you. Um, I have a couple videos coming up in the next couple weeks. Uh, don't really know when they're coming out for sure. But I do know that they are going to be some really good videos. And I know you guys are going to enjoy some of the stuff I'm going to be putting out, you know. But yeah. Uh, thank you once again for supporting me this channel and remember 
if we get to 100 subscribers by the end of next month, I will not only give you the edited voice reveal, but I will also do a Q&A video. I know I promised this for like 50 subs and that never materialized, but if we get to 100 subs by the end of next month, I will do a Q&A video. So yeah, you know, if you like what you've seen, please subscribe. Please consider liking this video, consider sharing it, and I really hope that this video blesses you. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.